Hello guys, yesterday I published a challenge for you about eloquent performance optimization and you bombarded me immediately with your pull requests. At the moment of shooting this video there are 41 pull requests, there probably will be more in the upcoming days, but basically it's all about the same scenario, so it's time to bring the results. And now I will shoot the video of my version of how I would fix that scenario, so there are 1000 queries, 11,000 models, 20 megabytes of RAM, everything is wrong, and how would I improve that? And in the later videos in upcoming days, I have at least a few more ideas to discuss about eloquent tips, what you did interestingly, what maybe I learned from you a thing or two, and we will discuss a lot of eloquent tips for optimization. But first, let's start with my version how to optimize this inefficient controller. So let's start with my version of things, what intentionally I left in the original repository to fix and how would I fix that. First, in the very beginning, here's on my local machine, I have 1101 queries, 11,000 models, 20 megabytes and 3 seconds. And as probably you noticed in the controller, so the whole code is about the controller query and then the home blade. But I would like to begin in a different file. And a lot of you didn't notice, or maybe I didn't emphasize it in the original challenge enough, that it's not only about those files. I actually said that you can touch any file except for introducing caching. So important file was, or in fact two files, database migrations. So in the movie ratings table, unsigned big integer movie ID doesn't have foreign key and doesn't have index on the database without index the query is significantly slower and to create a new index or turn that into a proper foreign key let's do php artisan make migration add foreign key to ratings table something like that and then we add what we add table foreign movie id references id on which table movies of course you need to have the condition that this foreign key wouldn't fail because if you already have data that doesn't correspond to that foreign key that migration would fail but in our case i think it should succeed let's try it out php artisan migrate okay added foreign key and now without any code changes, let's rerun the query, refresh the page. Is it faster? Yes, it is 1.42 seconds just from that. So we didn't touch anything in the Laravel code. We just changed the database structure to add the index. And that already cut our duration time in like 60% off or something like that. So that was the step that was actually mentioned only by a few of you in your pull requests. But that would be the first thing I would look at in general. And the database structure and the indexes are really important thing. And one notice, not sure if you understood, but foreign key actually creates the index automatically. And another way would be to recreate the migration if you can afford to do that, if you don't have any data in your database. So from the very beginning, instead of unsigned big integer, you would do foreign ID, movie ID constraint, something like that. So then you would rerun migrate fresh from the fresh database. But this is not for my case. Okay, so that's step one. With index, it's faster. Now let's go to controller and the view. In the view, as you can see in the home blade, we have movie category name. And this is a typical N plus one query situation where for every movie, you would have to run the query to the database to get the category. To avoid that, we should do movie get instead of all and with the relationship of category like this now let's refresh the page the speed shouldn't significantly be better but the amount of queries should be a bit better so 1000 queries instead of 1100 queries a bit better 
Next, the main problem of that whole thing is that we get all the data of all the movies with categories and only then we are sorting the results. So this is really inefficient. We should use the database ordering and grouping and sorting before we get the data and that get the data should contain only 100 movies, 100 results, not all of the database. So imagine if we don't have 10,000 movies, we have a million. So we get then all the million, then we run out of server memory and we try to sort it so it would be even worse. So sorting after getting the data is a really, really edge case scenario and you can do that only on small amounts of data. Instead, we should somehow get the average before getting the results. And Laravel lately in Laravel 8 point, I don't remember, 8.30 or something, introduced a feature called with average. So there was with count for a long time and we will use that as well. But with average accepts the name of relationship, so ratings, and then the field of that relationship table, which is rating. And as a result of that, in the collection, we will have a field called ratings, AVG rating, and we can order by that. So we can remove that sorting. We can do with AVG, then order by that ratings, AVG rating. And then instead of get, we just take 100 and then get let's reformat that something like this so now we will have our movie with average rating and instead of doing that relationship here we would use ratings avg rating like this one more thing i've made the same mistake in the initial video i ordered by rating but it should have been ordered by descending of rating something like this now let's refresh the page and see the result. 100 queries, 200 milliseconds, 6 megabytes of RAM. So you saw what I just did. I just improved all the query and actually the main query. Let's take a look. It's actually one query select from movies and then a sub query selecting average rating for each movie and then ordering by that average and then limit 100 to take only 100 rows. Also, there's a second query to get all the categories, which is movie with category. And then another 100 queries are about ratings, amount of ratings, which is done here, movie ratings count. And here I can mention two things. First, this is different from this sentence. So if you do movie ratings like this, this means that I get all the ratings from the database. So you fetch all the rows, all the ratings, although you actually need just the count. So you get the collection of ratings and then call the collection function of count. Instead, you should do the relationship, which means this doesn't get the queries from the database. This returns just the relationship. And from that relationship, the count would actually call the count operation, count SQL operation. So if we just relaunch that, let's take a look what we have. Same amount of queries, but the query is different. Select count, not select everything from rating. So that's one thing that we could improve, but it doesn't really improve our overall performance. What would improve if we just fetch the count for each of the movies, and we can do that with good old with count, with count of ratings, which will return ratings count, which we will use here. So we don't need any relationship, any function with count will return what we need. We refresh it now. And now we have two queries, 110 models, five megabytes and 67 milliseconds. The models will load only 100 movies that we need and only 10 categories. So we don't load any ratings. We don't load any unnecessary movies, which makes that RAM pretty minimal. So this was my overall solution. And that's what I was expecting you to show or something similar. But you went extra mile 
and you used various techniques with query builder with raw queries with different experiments and i will discuss those but let's do that in a separate video because this video is almost 10 minutes long already and i'm trying to keep the video short on this channel so in the next video tomorrow i will discuss your pull requests so if you want the part two of this video subscribe to the channel and get notified of the next video and also you can support my challenges and my mission on daily videos on youtube by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now from my team my courses admin panel generator and live wire kit set of components see you guys in other videos